Looking at those shots, it's really hard to believe that this currently thriving area in South Africa was once dedicated to cattle and pineapple farms with almost no biodiversity and wildlife. The wildlife and their habitat had previously been devastated by human activities leading to many of the species disappearing. Pinda was established in collaboration with the local Zulu tribal community to rehabilitate the ecosystem, allowing for the return of the wildlife that had once flourished this area. Pinda is local Zulu word for return. Animals were brought in from other regions of Southern Africa to establish new populations in the conservancy. There is a lot of doom and gloom stories about biodiversity. Sometimes it is really easy to feel that conservation is a pointless exercise and there is nothing that we can do to help. However, this story is a hopeful one. Pinda is a modern success conservation story. So stick around to see how they managed to do it. And learn stories of people and volunteers that spend their days at the reserve, managing wildlife, doing research, and protecting those animals and this fragile ecosystem. You might even see a pangolin if you're patient. A lot of work goes into managing 30,000 acres, making sure that animals are healthy, that they're reproducing but not inbreeding, that herbivores do not overgraze the land, that territorial animals have enough space and do not compete between each other, that invasive species of plants are under control, that the area is well protected by anti-poaching units, and that is all while still running lodges and operating tourism and walling tourism in the area that brings much needed funding towards conservation. It's the biggest number of giraffes I have ever seen in my life. So happy right now. Giraffes are my favorite animals because they're so weird. I just can really relate to them. <laughs> Animal populations in Pinda are thriving. From an initial population of just 30 white rhinos, Pinda now has one of the largest white rhino populations in Africa and have been relocating and repopulating rhinos to other reserves and countries due to their success at protecting them. Pinda is the first private game reserve ever to be a part of the Black Rhino Range Expansion Project. So this is a project together with WWF. The cheetah population here has grown so successfully that some individuals were relocated to other parts of Southern Africa to establish healthy cheetah populations there. Cheetah alone, um, Pinda and the Munyawana is currently seen as one of the most important cheetah metapopulations throughout Southern Africa. Okay, are you ready for this? Pinda has been chosen as a release site for pangolins that have been confiscated from poachers and saved from the illegal wildlife trade. The pangolin is arguably the most trafficked animal on earth, leading to their disappearance in the world. And arguably the cutest. Please leave a comment if you think that there is any animal that is cuter than a pangolin. So pangolins were reintroduced here in June 2019. Before that, pangolins have been completely extinct from the reserve. Over time, these animals have now established home ranges, territories, and thankfully have even had pups. I have spent here a few weeks volunteering with African Conservation Experience, participating in all the daily tasks needed for animal management and conservation like monitoring, data collection, updating ID profiles of animals, tracking, using some of the most modern technologies, trying to understand. So what is the reason of this overwhelming conservation success? Is it the modern technology and their ability to use camera traps, telemetry, satellites, drones, acoustic sensors, a variety of apps for data collection and analysis? But this project is neat because our cameras are actually tools 
And what we're doing is collecting data that's going to help us identify these individuals in the wild at a later date. When people connect with nature during their travels, when they see firsthand how hard it is to protect our nature and what goes into it, it can lead them into being more appreciative and become more invested in protecting it. Of course, it is all of the above and more. This project truly exists due to the exceptional management and the work of numerous passionate people that spend hours and days in the bush, making sure that the area is thriving while educating tourists and visitors and conducting research that helps other organizations and reserves to obtain this success as well. This is my first time being so close to a lion. I just touched his huge paws and saw his face up close. Seeing their movement data, how long it's taken them to settle in this reserve will be useful for other reserves who want to do the same thing. I hope that this success story got you inspired and serves as a hopeful reminder. When we invest in wildlife conservation, wildlife wins. When people start seeing the benefit of having tourism in the area, um, they are more inclined to wanting to keep the area wild and they also support these new um, ventures that are being undertaken. We want to use tourism to expand you know, conservation areas and not just expand but to ensure that it sustains itself.